Because to a certain extent, maybe we don't really understand prosperity. The only definition or the only understanding we have of prosperity is that it has to do with money. But when you look at the word to prosper or prosperity in the scripture, you realize that it's much, much, much more than money. So let me give you these four things. I won't talk about it in detail. What prosperity? Number one, it means to do well in life. To do well. Of course, I don't, you, need, you say that encompasses financial. Yeah. It means to do well in life. Number two, it means to succeed at an endeavor. To succeed at an endeavor. In other words, you have a task before you, and you're able to do that task successfully. Number three, when you're able to deal with something with wisdom, you like the Bible says in Joshua chapter 1, that you shall deal wisely in the affairs of life. When you deal wisely in the affairs of life, you prosper in that situation. Number four is to have the presence of God with you. The Bible says concerning Joseph in Genesis chapter 39, and the Lord was with Joseph. And he was what? A prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. How can you be a prosperous man and you are a slave in somebody's house? But that is what it is. How can he be? He's a slave. And yet what? The Bible says he's prosperous. So you realize Prosperity is not a function of what you are doing. It is what? To have the presence of God with you. To have the presence of God. And then number five, which is the one that we all have on, is to have abundance financially. To have abundance financially. Now, <clears throat> that is what we, we stay on. But you know what? To actually come to the place where you have abundance financially, you need to be doing well in life. 